In this video lecture, I will talk about lagging strand DNA synthesis. So you know that in the leading strand, the DNA synthesis is continuous, but in the lagging strand, the DNA synthesis is discontinuous and it occurs in opposite direction because of the uh, anti-parallel nature of the double-stranded DNA. So if this is the replication fork and this is pipe prime and this is three prime end, so the, this strand will have a three prime end over here and five prime end here. So the synthesis in the in this particular template will occur. So this is the first primer that is being synthesized, the RNA primer, pi prime and three prime direction. So it will be synthesized or extended in this direction. Okay, and as we know that the DNA polymer is uh, it, it polymerizes in pi prime to three prime direction. So it needs a 3 prime hydroxyl end. So always it will get a 3 prime hydroxyl end over here. This end is always a 3 prime hydroxyl end. So it will incorporate uh, nucleotides continuously without dislodging itself in this strand. So this strand is continuous synthesis. This is called leading strand. In the opposite strand, what happens? Uh, and the primer has to be synthesized somewhere here. Okay, because of the same reason that the DNA will move in a pi prime to, I mean the polymerase will synthesize in pi prime to three prime direction, so it will go in this way. So when the helicase helicase is sitting here, it's a hexameric protein as you know, so it will open a new area of DNA when it will move along this direction. Uh, the replication fork is moving in this direction, so it will open up new area of DNA. So in the suppose in the next picture we can see it like this next diagram that a new piece of DNA the fork has grown bigger and a new piece of DNA has been opened up. The earlier fragment uh, is here okay and this one is continuous because this is the leading strand it is always getting, always getting the 3 prime hydroxyl end, so it will continue. But for this part of the DNA, a new primer will be synthesized again here, and that will be extended, forming a fragmented DNA. These are called Okazaki fragment, as you already know these things. So this is how DNA synthesis occurs in lagging strand. So this one is the lagging strand. This much up to this much it is clear, okay. But the question is, are there two different polymerases? One for the leading strand, another for the lagging strand, and both these polymerases move in opposite direction. One in this direction, another in this direction, or what? Is it uh, or the there is a single polymerase, or or these two subunits they move uh, in the same direction in this direction? Which one is which is correct? So it is now known that actually there is a single DNA polymerase, multi-subunit DNA polymerase, and the current model says that there are, in fact, there are uh, three core polymerases, polymerase three uh, core polymerases, two uh, dedicated for the lagging strain and one for the leading strain. So the DNA polymerase is actually it. It is like this. There are three core polymerases like this and they are attached with the help of a flexible protein called tau protein each of them are attached with the tau protein there are three tau proteins and they are these tau proteins are further attached with the uh, with three gamma proteins those gamma proteins are sitting somewhere here and there are three there are delta proteins, there is delta prime, there is psi, chi, and uh, different types of proteins are there. So it's a multi subunit. There are three gamma over here. These are three tau proteins. Tau is written something like this. 
So three tau proteins and these are core polymerases. Core pol, sorry. Polymerase three. So one, two, three. Two of which will be dedicated for the lagging strain and one will only be for the leading strain. And this is quite logical that uh, since the lagging strain synthesis is relatively slow. So if there are two uh, polymerases dealing that that process then uh, the speed of the synthesis will be little bit uh, little bit enhanced so that it matches with the leading strain so here there is another protein called the beta clamp uh, beta sliding clamp that is a homodimer in fact and this is actually this is very important this is beta 2 it's a it's a sliding clamp this sliding clamp is loaded behind these core polymerases uh, to enhance the processivity of uh, DNA synthesis and this is called clamp loader this is beta clamp loader it helps to load the beta clamp and there are number of proteins uh, here theta delta delta prime uh, psi um, um, there, there are epsilon also probably I, I'm forgetting and there are three gamma, okay, three gamma, three tau, and three core polymerase. So it's a multi subunit. D this is DNA. This is the structure of DNA pol polymerase three. The main polymerase that synthesizes the DNA. So now let us see how uh, it manages the synthesis of uh, lagging strand, particularly. So this is the leading strand. And the synthesis in the leading strand is as we saw that this is continuous. So one of the polymerase will come and bind here. It is doing its job. The beta clamp loader is sitting behind it. It is clamped like this. This sliding clamp, it will help to increase the processivity. But the lagging strand, I will put a video over here, an animated video made by myself. Uh, what happens? Uh, this lagging strand is um, extracted a little more than what is required no it is not good to say what is required in fact it is required that uh, a more amount of dna should be uh, should be extracted from the uh, from the dna behind this uh, with the help of the helicase Heli helicase will open up a new area of dna a little more amount of dna extra amount of dna will be sliding uh, sliding along with the help of this uh, sliding clamp, in fact, this is the tau protein, and here are sitting those gamma three and those all those, uh, I mean the delta, delta prime, psi, and that clamp loader, in fact. So that is the uh, and this one is a sliding clamp that is present here. The sliding clamp is is present here. It is a dimeric protein. So. This uh, lagging strand will slide uh, through this sliding clamp and will come out like this and will fold back like this. Okay. And then uh, the primer, which was present here, it was synthesized by the primase over here. This is the primase enzyme. But this uh, primer will not be joined by any polymerase immediately. It will, it will move. It will go. It will pass through this and when it will come after this it will take the this clamp with itself okay the clamp is now now joined with this uh, primer and when it will come here the dna polymerase will this is the beta clamp and then the dna polymerase the another core there are two core polymerases that are dedicated for the um, sorry it will be a little bigger Okay, so one of the core polymerases is, jo is joined here to synthesize, to extend the primer. So the primer is in this direction. Now you can see the direction of uh, this DNA poly polymerase or leading strand synthesis and lagging strand synthesis is same. So the synthesis will now occur in this direction. So this core polymerase will, will move on. It will move on synthesizing this one. Okay. And it will do it like this hmm? 
and it is of course it is bound with the help of a uh, tau protein with this uh, i mean you can animate this like this these are the three views of this these are only one uh, this core polymerase is moving like this okay the other core polymerase is is waiting somewhere here say it is waiting to bind with yet another to yet another primer which will come through this direction by sliding through this and loaded by the beta clamp sliding clamp when it will come here in the meantime this the, the first one will have gone somewhere here isn't it it is somewhere here now the new primer will be will be at this position and then this will go and join there isn't it and it will now start synthesizing in the meantime this will dislodge itself okay and it will get uh, again when when this will this will reach to this place or this place the second one this one which has recently joined will will move to this place this one will have uh, dislodged itself and it will now waiting for the next primer to come and join so in this way see the video the animated video where it has been shown that how continuously the thing happens the core polymerase they work along the lagging strand synthesizing the uh, the lagging strand at the same rate probably uh, compared to the leading strand and in this way they enhance the processivity of dna synthesis this is called this is uh, this model of dna synthesis has been called trombone model of dna synthesis this is the most accepted model and this model is capable of explaining how dna synthesis occurs in lagging strand